This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Welcome back to the tire and wheel rim model, and we're going to get started with the center section here. To do this, I'm going to create a new layer, and we'll call this bolt circle. And I'm going to choose this orange color by clicking on the color. So now this layer is orange. We can turn off some of these other layers, the red, purple, green. Set the orange to the current. We can turn off the white. And we'll go into the front view here. You can see that now we just have a circle. And I'm going to draw our bolt here. Curve circle center radius the center is zero and enter the diameter is going to be 0.5 so half inch and enter and now i want to create a counter bore when i make my bolt so i'm going to offset this using the offset curve command click on the curve the distance is 0.25 and enter and just come to the outside and click and there we go there is our bolt now we're going to want to put this on a circular pattern. So I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. Select the object, transform move, point the move from. I'm just going to click anywhere on the grid here and type in 1.75. Enter. Hold shift and click. So now I've moved that up. Now I'm going to draw a circle slightly bigger than that. Curve, circle, center radius. Start from zero, and I'm just drawing this about one, two grid blocks up, thereabouts, half inch bigger, and click. So this will be the center hub for our bolt hole circle, and we're going to draw a couple lines for our spoke. So I'm going to create another new layer, call this one spoke, CRV for curve, and I'm going to change the color of this layer. We'll use the cyan color here and set that current. Now I'm going to draw a freeform curve going through here. When you do this, make sure that you're inside of this circle, disable, you're inside of this larger orange circle, and you're outside of this larger blue one. So start in here and click and make your way out to here. If you want to adjust, you can push and pull on the control points to play with the shape a little bit. I'm going to delete this control point. So you can adjust this until you're content with the shape. Work out some different design ideas. I think that's good enough for now. And I'm going to mirror this to the other side. So transform, mirror, over zero, hold shift, and click. So there we have it. We're set up. I'm going to make a few copies of this here. So we're going to array both this object and these two. So transform, array, polar. We're going to start from zero and enter. The number of items is going to be five. So five and enter. And our angle is 360, 360, enter. So now you can start to see our wheel is really Starting the form here, we can get a better idea of what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and do some trimming. So I'm going to right click and select all the blue objects, select objects, and hold down shift and click this last one here. Now, if I run the trim command right here, trim, you can trim off the excess here. I'm just clicking through. If you make a mistake, there's an undo option here and you can back up and join 15 curves join into five open curves I'm gonna go ahead and fillet these curve fillet corners I'm gonna select all these right click and I'm gonna put in a half inch radius so 0.5 enter now I've got a nice radius in there select all these Objects here and right click and change object layer so they're back on the blue layer. 
Now I'm going to draw some more profile curves, and we're going to do this in the right view. I'm going to go ahead and shut off my rim reference curves, and put a curve, freeform, interpolate points, and I'm going to draw a spoke curve, which is going to be the three-dimensional shape here. And we're going to do this so that it's set back inside a little bit. So watch your snapping. I'm going to turn on grid snap just because I want to make sure I start in the center. And I'm going to go ahead and click once here. And you can sort of see my orange curve right here. I'm going to come up past that. Click again. Click again. Okay. Turn snap off. And now I'm going to draw the shape, add a little curvature to it. If you want to fix this, you can turn on the F10 key and make some adjustments. Escape. I'm just going to set this whole thing back a little bit. So there we have it. So we're all set up at this point, and in the next lesson, we will be building the inside rim surfaces.